Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing a review of Love Cuts by John Hegley. So this is a poetry collection. Uh, it's got a little bit of prose in there as well. It doesn't actually have a blurb. It just has on the pavement. Uh, oh no, it does have a blurb. So I'm going to read you this little blurb. Uh, then I'm going to read out some of the poems that I highlighted from it. And then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads... Love Cuts includes tales of plasters and other aspects of the fabric of life. There are various episodes of emotional injury and subsequent attempts at wound management, including a lengthy documentation of the escapist quest for the holy spectacles. Alongside this are further investigations into the author's relationship with art, his father, football, spuds, railways and sack racing. So, oh it's got drawings from the author as well. Okay, so good afternoon. One of the things a poet does is to put usual things in an unusual way. So instead of saying good afternoon, the poet may wish you a boonful second spoonful of the day. Uh, here we have autumn verses. Autumn is strange stuff, anagram of Aunt Moo, but not of nostalgia. Scarves come out, clocks go back, faulty or otherwise. Pumpkins enjoy brief popularity. Kids collecting cash for slouched on the ground, ash bound bad dresses. Autumny, heart of mold, old leaves leaving, enter the cold. Last October, I got very depressed when our dog got knocked over. So there's a lot of this kind of wordplay going on. This one is Luton Library Verses. This one annoys me, and I will explain to you why in a minute. It was opened by the monarch, and it meant a lot to me. In my early years in Luton Town beside the River Lee, four new books a fortnight I'd turn up to lend, and as I turned the pages, each one turned into a friend. In time I was a shelving lad so I could spend all day or walking round the library or working for no pay. But I wasn't discontented, please don't read me wrong. They'd given me a shelver's badge and somewhere to belong. And the first poem I ever wrote went in the magazine of the library in Luton which was opened by the Queen. So the thing that annoys me there is that he uses the word lend when he means borrow. That drives me mad when people do that. So this is the emergency. The octopus awoke one morning and wondered what rhyme it was. Looking at his alarm clock to puss, he saw that it had stopped and it was time to stop having a rest and get himself dressed. On every octafoot he put an octosoctopus, but in his hurry one foot got put not into an octosock but into an electric plug socket, and the octopus got a nasty electric shock to puss and had to call the octodoctopus, who couldn't get in to give any help or medicine because the door was an octopus. The octopus couldn't move being in a state of octoshoctopus, so the octodoctopus bashed the door to the floor and the cure was as simple as could be. A nice refreshing cup of seawater. Again, I enjoy the wordplay there. Swimming channels. To satisfy the preference for tailor-made programming, there will eventually be so much telly on TV that it will work out at one channel per person, which won't help with conversing about the shared experience of what was on the box last night. So this was uh, published in 1995. And I mean, that's just Netflix, isn't it? That's how we consume our media today. And we still talk, like, we're still like, have you seen Squid Game? Christmas past and presents. My brother-in-law's boy joyfully rips into his motley Christmas pile. Gently, says my brother-in-law aggressively, as he absent-mindedly takes the wrappers off something of his own. It is the big bird table from me. Mmm, he intones appreciatively, some firewood. Smilingly, I lift my gift from him out of its plastic carrier and discover a lemonade making kit, very, very similar to the one I got him last year. So that one I tabbed because of the word smilingly, which is another thing that I hate. And uh, here we have, before you ridicule. Remember, somebody on a railway platform who seems to be train spotting may actually be writing poetry. So those are the highlights I wanted to share from Love Cuts by John Hegley. There was some stuff I really enjoyed, some stuff I didn't enjoy as much. I'm not really one for rhyming poetry anyway, and I found that the best stuff in this was um, the wordplay and that kind of stuff. Uh, I would give it like a 3.5 out of 5, maybe a fairly weak one, but it was okay. Hegley is one of those poets who's always, his work is always uh, recommended to me by people, and I'm not really sure why, because I don't particularly vibe with it, it's just okay. But hey ho. So there we have it, that's what I made of Love Cuts by John Hegley. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this one, and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.